now we're going to see I talked about like you should know some basic stuff I want you to know at least this stuff if you don't know this you will have a little bit trouble troubles a little bit problems I don't want you like to get frustrated so please get this stuff in order so I will not be like showing you how to add how to divide how why how I use this fraction etc so you got to be good in arithmetic I will maybe show you like the volume but I will not show you how I derive it or how do I get the area or blah 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 so you know to know a little bit geometry I will not show you how I turn like meters to kilometers how did I change kilograms to pounds how do I change one day to uh, one hour no, one, one, no, one day two hours etc so please get used with conversions and finally most importantly if you are watching you are used the you are used to use the English system which is like Fahrenheit which is inches which they use feet you use pounds you use, you use force pounds etc try to avoid this because this is not very scientific we're going to use the international system which is the official system and actually it's more logical so get used to it and you will probably like it later now I told you about the international system they talk about a lot of decimals a lot of the scientific notation conversions are based normally in basis of 10 so please be good at that and finally I'm not going to explain you how to get percentage how to get fractions that you've seen it before in math and even if you got chemistry before which I think you will be able to get that and for chemistry and physics you will only need well at least at least need like know the basic chemistry like what you see in chemistry 1 but if you haven't seen it before you will have a little bit problem but it's okay and what you saw in physics 1 maybe 2 2 is only an extra but you must at least understand number 1 the difference between pressure and force pressure is not force so come on guys don't mistake that temperature absolute versus normal temperature so you know there's a Fahrenheit scale hopefully and you know that the absolute of Fahrenheit you need to change it to ranking and if you use the international system you know there's a Celsius degree scale and you have the Kelvin scale which is the absolute zero scale so please check that stuff you know it this is not that strong you need to know the difference between temperature and heat if you don't understand it just be sure to use temperature we're not going to use heat in this course this is more like energy balance but temperature we're going to use it a lot especially when we're dealing with gases mass is not the weight so you know mass pounds or kilograms is not the same as weight weight could be I don't know normally F you this Americans divide M and F M for mass F for force kilograms is not the same as Newtons which is easier to explain for a a person that understands the international system. Now you got to understand what's a mole. I'm not going to explain that. What's mass weight? What's smaller mass? What's mass fraction? Mole fraction? Everything about moles you gotta at least know or have an idea. And you need to know like the basics. Just just to know what how to write that reaction. So you know, A plus B produces C. You will know at least how to do kinetics and stoichiometry stoichiometry remember is just these numbers how they relate etc so once you have understand the basic concept you will be able to continue our course now that was all the introduction I just wanted to present you what we are going to see in this course it's a lot so just review the video if you need to to get an idea where are you when you start studying the course, try to always check where are you going, what have you seen before, so you can connect the ideas with the topics. Hopefully, 
I show you this because you don't need to, but hopefully you have this. It will make you easier, the mass balance course. You are good in math and analytical skills. Math, it's good because you will not like concentrate in solving the problem. You will concentrate more in the mass balance problem, rather in the math problem, which is the equations. Equations, actually, everyone can solve that. So any non-engineer or chemical engineer will solve that. But the understanding of mass balance, the entry of inlets, outlets, products, etc., which I like to call the mass balance theory, they don't. So you have this. Please make sure you have and dominate. Now the analytical skills, this is typical for every engineer. So actually every engineer should be good at this. How you order the process, you read this and you say, I want to write, I don't know, a chemical balance. I will write an equation. And like this text, I will transform it to an equation, blah, 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 blah. How you order stuff. How do you literally like make the problem? If you like chemical processes, this is a good chance to know a lot of processes like humidity process, combustion process, reaction processes, uh, drying, many many problems. You will see like you don't need to like understand the theory like how oh, how did they sit, they burn this or they how they Hit this, hit, hit at this. You don't need to know that, but if you like it, you will enjoy this course. Another time, be patient, please. If you don't understand something, just reread it. If you don't understand it, recalculate, calculate, see, read, do again until you do your best. And finally, I hope you like to practice a lot of problems because theory alone will not help. Please. Practice a lot. And I say this to you as an introductory course to chemical engineering or any engineering which involves processes, mass processes. It's super important to learn this 100%. So if you don't understand it that much, I recommend you like to see it again so you get 100%. Why? Because then you will have problems in mass bal in energy balance in mass transfer balance, in thermodynamics, in heat transfer. So why not avoid all these problems just by completing this unique subject, which is the introduction to engineering for a chemical engineer. And once again, patience always wins the battle. If you need some extra information, you can get info here. You can Send me a message by Facebook, this is my page. You can contact me directly by email. I try to check this the most I can. Or directly in the web page. You can check a lot of this. I'm going to make this like the courses. Hopefully, I don't know by now, but I try, I'm going to try to put the mass balance course. You will see a lot of problems there. And finally, I just wanted to show you again the books. This is the book we're going to use the most and this is recommended, but this is the must. So for an introduction I think is everything. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoy. Please make sure you understand everything. Like the video. If you would like to subscribe to get more info videos, just tell me.